Today is February 22nd. Hal says he's open to adding more. BBD says Snell's a Yankee. Let's talk Yanks. His life hopes up. Yeah. Me too for his life. Mm. You guys are more hopeful for my life than I am. John mm. Recaps galore. Hello and welcome to Talking Yanks, brought to you by Seed Geek. Thank you very much for joining us today. My name is Jimmy. His name is Jake. BBD's here. We're coming to you from the owner's suite at the warehouse. And I uh, would really appreciate it if you enjoy the show, if you hit subscribe mm. to the YouTube channel. Thank you kindly. Uh, some positive updates from camp. A lot of positivity flowing from camp. How talk to the media. What judge talks to the media. Some fun tidbits that we're going to mm. chew on and then spit out. Jake, how you doing? Jim, Davis, everyone tuning in. Hope you guys have been enjoying our PPPs, player profile and projections. Those have been rolling out every day. Don't complain about content. You got Yankee content every day on our end, and we've got some games coming soon this weekend, so we'll uh, we'll have even more to chew on than some of the delightful stuff coming out of camp. How's there? Holding court? Showing up. Showing up. This time last year, we're like, does Hal go to games? I didn't know Hal was a camp guy. I don't know if he's ever been. It's different this year. Yankee fans better love him when they sign Snow. Oh, boy. Maybe. 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 Who? yeah, where do you want to start? We do have, um, I guess that's the big one. Hal said, I don't know the, the direct quote in front of me anymore, but he was like, I'm open to... We're still looking to add. Kind of. He phrased it a little oddly. It was he like, whatever Cashman... Odd. Will bring. I'm not against it. He said, "You never it, have enough pitching." He's open to anything Cashman puts in front of him. Uh, I'm just going to tell you that we continue to look at different options. Given where we are payroll wise, any addition to the club is going to be a costly one. But I'm still willing to consider anything that comes my way. Anything Cash and his team bring my way, I'll leave it at that. But we are not done trying to improve this team. Okay. I like that. We are like, not done trying to improve this team. We are not done trying I'm to saying, improve this team. We've been checking in on other teams, and all their owners and GMs are talking about how, like, no, like any if we add any payroll, that means we have to cut some. What's your Blue Jays say, Jim? Your Blue Jays had a quote that's like, we've always been a little sad, and we're still going to be. Wow, wow, wow. Something like that. I mean, the Red Sox news at a clubhouse. Oh, my, my goodness. Gosh. Hide the knives. Those guys are on suicide watch over there. <laughs> Cora's begging off the team. So funny. Him, Devers. Who they else like got showed involved up and for was a... just like, hey, we need the front office to take a new angle, and that's bringing in better players. Kenley. Kenley's out. They all did. Uh, and here's here's another portion where they asked specifically about Blake Snell. Yeah. And this is a tweet I'm reading from Brian Hoke, like Coke. I'm not going to get into free agents. I'm just going to tell you that we continue to look at a lot of different options. And given where we are payroll-wise, any addition to the club is going to be a costly one. But I'm still willing to consider anything that comes my way. The first half, the costly part, I want to explain. They have to pay a lot of money Mm. if they sign Snell. So if they pay him $30 million as like... so. This isn't a real let's offer. Call, let's call it 30 for <clears throat> easy math. So they, say they give him a one-year $30 million contract. Why do we need easy math? Make it 31.5. Right, but say they do that, they're paying $30 million in tax. So that's really one year 60 mil they have to pay for I, that contract. I heard someone actually, throw around $84 million. Yeah, I believe for... <laughs> a lot of darting eyes in the room. <laughs> It's one they have to pay an additional 110 percent on whatever they pay. They're already over the limit. So if they pay so 30, it, it would be like be, what 60? It'd be 33 per. It'd be 33 million just in tax penalty. So it'd be 63 million dollars. Yeah. On a on a 30 million dollar offer, that's what that would be in total. 
cost for this year. So it is fake numbers. Like, if he goes over, numbers. it is crazy how much they have to pay. And that's so, just, and that is just money that like the Rays get to use, which the Yankees have said before, like funding our competition. Yes. So it, yeah, you're I right. If they that, do that, that, Jake, and they say uh, we sneeze at you, luxury tax, take our money, Rays, hurt some other people, then <laughs> yeah, how should we loved? Jim, we've we've made a lot of content. I mean, if I said, "Hey, this dollar, right. this water costs you a dollar, but y'all, you got to put another dollar into BBD's pocket, right? Another dollar ten, yeah. Would you do it? I would buy that water. Yeah, I mean, well, you're still getting drink. a water. It's half drank. I can do whatever it's I want with that. Deal. I'm not going to get a water. I'm the raise. Jim, we've done a lot of soul activities, searching. Oh. soul searching. Uh, throughout talking Yanks, throughout the company. It's water. I don't know whose water that was. It's just been uh, here. Strength that. Probably uh, was yours. You yeah. have put yourself, you know, in a simulation of being a GM at certain points. Different activities. Jam baseball, talking Yanks. I'm not Utpa. One of your big things has always been the number one thing you talk about being a GM slash owner. Your team sells tickets. Yes. Yeah, you want to sell tickets. That's the ultimate goal. This team is really close to selling tickets. Go check out, shout out my um, alphabet draft. Like my, if, my lineup of letters. If everyone... Colors. colors, yeah, colors. If everyone makes it out of spring training healthy, Stanton looks good, Rodon looks good, this team sells some tickets. Yeah. If they make the Snell move, we're talking World Series and we're selling tickets, dude. We're talking really good chance... Going to be in the playoffs, you would think. And yes, selling a lot of tickets. Another thing I'd like to clear up for the people, because I I knew exactly what was going to happen, but there's also an obligation to the good people that still live on the internet. I did get a whisper yesterday from someone that has nothing to gain um, about Blake Snell, Yankee interest, still being in the realm. Uh, it was nothing, again, I didn't tweet out like Blake Snell signing with the Yankees. I think some other people did, and that, that started a little internet fiasco. Just always dangerous. Always dangerous. Um, I don't know. I, I guess the other thing, just closing the loop on Snell a little bit, and it's something I've said before. You know, we do talk in baseball. We check in around the league. There's not a clear team above the Yankees that it's like, Blake Snell should sign here. There's a couple teams you can argue for. <clears throat> They're kind of loser teams. And, like we have talked about, when free agencies have drug before. Dragon. Dragon. Shout Dragon. out to your uncle. That wagon. Shout um, out to you. You know, Machado to the Padres was a surprise. Shout out. Uh, Harper to the Phillies was a surprise. Shout out. Cobb to the Orioles was a surprise. No. Lynn to the Twins was a surprise. Well. Nobody really remembers. Shocker. I don't know if I was surprised by that. Um, I don't remember reacting. I mean, nobody reacted. Uh, I don't know. It. I, I like to be a logical guy. I always say, bring me apartment shopping. Just reach out to BBD. Say, we're shopping for an apartment. Here's a picture of me um, and my significant other, and we'll find you a place. Uh, you find me a better place for Snell, and I'll hear you out on it, but there's not a ton out there. Like well, if you start bringing in teams like the Phillies and like no, they're be, in the same boat as the Yankees, it would. I think what it's coming down to right now is straight money, straight deal with the Giants or the Angels, or try to wiggle the Yankees into doing something creative where it can work with both sides. If right. he prefers to be on a winner, like opt outs. I really like the way they did Cole's opt out. And that's something they could use if this market goes slow on Snell, where there's an opt-out like, okay, it's two years for X amount of money that makes him, you know, like an old-school Dodgers deal where you get two years really high AAV. Mm -hmm. And then there's an opt-out for um, Snell. So he crushes it. He thinks he can still go get more money. Mm -hmm. He can opt out. Higher AAV. He can opt out, hit free agency again. If he doesn't opt out, Mm -hmm. he's going to stay on some deal. Like another two years that might be a little like cheaper or whatever for the Yankees. So the Yankees would, he'd still guaranteed more money than the two. And then if he does opt out, 
the Yankees can say, strike that, reverse it. Mm. We're opting in right. to give you a pay raise the next two years instead of what you're already doing. That's what they have with Cole right now. Right. Like after this season, Cole can opt out and say, ah, I'm going to test free agency. But the Yankees can say, you know, they can double whammy it and be like, well, no, we opt back in and didn't he it, gets a raise. Didn't it Zach he doesn't Britton, get a raise, but he gets a, an extra year. year yeah, so he gets more money. Didn't Zach Britton Babies have, a, need to do it like have a nice like triple game of poker? It was yeah, like Zach Britton's was, was like the first Britton had the we first call. The Yankees had the second call, but that made Zach have a yeah, third call. I believe Chad Green has this with the Blue Jays right now, too. Don't. Save that for his PPP. What'd you just look at? You. Yeah. Man, if they do get snow, that would be some better help for the Yankees. And this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. A common misconception about relationships, hello, is that they have to be easy to be right. Sometimes the best ones happen when both people put in the work to make them great. Therapy can be a place to work through the challenges you face in all your relationships. Friends, work, significant others, anyone. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be flexible, convenient, suited to your schedule. Fill out a brief question on air, and you'll get matched with a licensed therapist. You can switch therapists at any time, no additional cost. Become your own soulmate. Ugh. Whether you're looking for one or not, visit BetterHelp.com slash Yanks today and you get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Yanks. Click the link in the description. I have something that isn't like pressing, but it is, it's weird. You brought it to my attention, a Greg Joyce tweet yeah. that I can't really get out of my head. Shout out Greg. Thanks, um, Greg. Boom, 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 boom. One <laughs> one bit of news from Steinbrenner. The Yankees Hal. have Yeah, how? The Yankees have added a new clubhouse staffer mm. to help funnel down analytics to players. Yeah. Which had been a concern of judges and Coles. So again, um Judge just using Hal to do whatever he wants. But I there's a lot of ways to interpret this to me. Like, they had all the analytics geeks, a lot of them, in the dugout Very already. involved. So is it like, we just want one dude right. to tell us this instead of all these dudes? Yeah. Were the dudes that were already doing this bad and they needed a new staffer? To, is there going to be less people in the dugout? I remember there was tweets last year from ex-players. Who was that that tweeted that? And they were like, look at when you hit a home run, how many people that aren't even fucking on the right. team. Who was that? Was that... Mm. I remember it happening. I can't remember who specifically. Let does us it. know in the ments, the yeah. comments. Um, David Wells is one name coming to mind. He had that one day where he just said a bunch ooh. of stuff. It might have been Wells, but he said some weird. He stuff had a hot day. week there. I think it was old timers day. day. He got a mic yeah. in front of his face for a first time. He got they, gave him like, <laughs> they gave him like ten minutes in front of a mic, and he said a lot of stuff. Some of if it like I that. To, I got. If I had to put a little cheese on it, I think it could have been Wells. He had a. Because he had, like, one or two that hit, and then he had one or two that were like, oh, let's stop interviewing David Well, this, yeah, this, <laughs> this reads like you would your first reaction, I believe, would be like, oh, they want more analytics. But I don't think that's what this is. I think they want, like, a better communication system and less. And, like, like I read I had, it one more time. If I had, okay. It seemed like if anything, I would read it as less yeah. than more. The Yankees have added a new clubhouse staffer to help funnel down analytics to players. Yeah, I mean, that seems like a plus one, minus five. Yeah, that's what I think. Your job is to funnel the information from them yeah. to them. Too many voices. Which, by the way... Tough for that one dude. He better be great. I thought that was Boone's gig. Gotta be an ex-player. Yeah, and then they're just going to tell, be they're gonna tell that one player, like, bugger off. That's Australian for fuck off. Oh, there it is. Subscribe. Um, go stuff it. Come on, man. That's also Australian for uh, uh, fuck it. Every team should have a player analytics relay person. I don't know. It's yeah. kind of a layup. Yeah, I thought this was what it is. Like, that should be Trevor Plouffe's job. No, he's not. He doesn't actually care about analytics. He's just nice. What is this? What are you looking at right now? Because I don't know currently. 
Is this Tatis? No, who? No, is? the new new big open stance yeah. on the Padres. Nice uh, swing. I, yeah, I, could, I didn't make out who that was, but it made me laugh. It's a bad stance. Look, <laughs> that's not gonna work. Some jolly ball and play stuff. Do we um? Do we have any cool stances on the team this year? Uh, well, Vol- uh, Soto's kind of fun. Volpe's fun. Verdugo's got a little flair to it. They tweeted out the silhouette. Can you guess the Yankees? Isn't he normal? He's, He's dead cat, like, and uh, then he goes. Um, I want to find the silhouette. I feel, like, okay. get, I feel like was if it we the Yankees? Side by sided him and Rizzo, we'd be like, oh, they got kind of a similar attitude to the way they stand in the box. I think. Both I have Rizzo like, with relax. a little more bop mentally. Ha- I a hundred percent agree. He's like that. That Jay Z isn't Rizzo gif. here. I think I think Rizzo's slightly yeah. more out. Verdugo's like closer to the body, but yeah, hands simi- in. Similarly, like hands down, like kind of relaxed. Rizzo more bop, but Austin Wells is left-handed. His hands are more up, as I recall. Austin oh, Wells wow. catching Look. Cole at camp. That's a yeah, storyline. That's a development. He caught him in like the the at bats, the live BP. So he's really they're diving in. Oh, it's uh, his 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 uh, toe tap is of note for me for uh, Verdugo because he his foot starts back and then he brings it and then oh. tap and then forward. It's a gear up. Yeah, it's like some that. horizontal there. Yeah. Nice. Uh, I have notes over here. Okay. Volpe's got a new swing. Judge really likes Volpe's new bat path. New swing bat path. Yeah. Swing path. If I had to guess, he's like, hey, go to teacher, man. Get your bat through the zone. Right. Judge said he, uh, oh, yeah, I love all the changes he made. New bat path, getting uh, hitting the ball at all fields. Volpe, I think, said it was less of an uppercut. Volpe also came out and said, I know you can butter knife in our, in our words. Okay. He's, so this is Volpe's words in our words. You're summarizing what Volpe said into our words. Yes. He said, I know if you can. you said Volpe said in our words. Yeah. Volpe said in our words. <laughs> he didn't yeah. say this. We're tra- yeah. Yeah, tra- I tra- can get the exact quote if you want, but the <laughs> like translation like was, <laughs> you can butter knife my stats however you want, but I had an awful year for my expectations. So basically, all those 20 home or 20 steals fans, Volpe yeah. hates your guts. Stop well, sticking up for him. Volpe, that's, what that's he where said. it stops becoming a translation. That's what he Volpe, said via our translation. Well, then it broke, and that was me reacting to oh, it. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he was like, nah. That is what he said, though. different. He said it was like, uh, you can chop it up, everyone. I'm not happy with my season. Volpe's swing should never knock his helmet off. And no. that would happen every at bat. Yeah. He was good for, like, one helmet knock off a series. And I do want to, you know, for all the, the people in the Mets that are going to say, Jake, you loved when Higgy did that. Well, he was my top five home run hitter on the team. So. Yeah. Volpe should hit doubles and steal bases. Boom, roasted. Boom, roasted. And I think another thing. There might be a PPP coming up where I say, get on, get over. Mm. That's your job. His words are your words. Those ones were mine. Okay. Uh, Aaron Joe's toe will require maintenance for the rest of his life. What do we think about that? I think, nah. Rest of his playing career. Yeah, I think. Like, 70-year-old Joe, 70-year-old Judge isn't going to be like. You did say Joe's twice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You think injuries, old man. You think Joe's. Uh, <laughs> 70-year-old Judge isn't going to be maintenancing his toe. He's just going to fucking walk on it or chop it off. I'd say chop it off. Who knows where we're at at that, this point? So I would say rest of his career. But that, then also, like, it won't hinder him in the outfield at all. It's just like, yeah, got to keep tabs on it. The, he wears a toe protector, but it doesn't, like, protect the toe, if I remember correctly. It's well, ca- I think in a f- He in doesn't wear it when he's work, wearing the, uh, in the outfield. I don't think he wears it. No, I'm saying at the plate. Because that's, that's the like one that still scares me. Ankles. Oh, yeah. It's his back foot, so it has to be like a lefty with a back foot slider. Mm, yeah, if you just Sna- foul sail. the ball off and it goes down. I feel like that usually hits your front foot. Got two feet. I don't. Stuff happens. Foul ball's back. Uh, according to Heyman, the Yankees can't be taken seriously as World Series contenders until they sign a Boris client. Hmm. <laughs> who'd, who'd that come from? Did you read that one? No. It's pretty funny. 
God. Uh, That's tough. That's tough. Yeah, and according to Heyman, the Yankees were, are willing to go six years with Snell. Someone tweet out the best MLB lineup not using any of Boris's agents. And I bet you could put together a pretty good team. Yeah. Dodgers? Yeah, I was about to say, but what lineup the Dodgers starting out there? Nesbolello. There's a lot of players. I want to watch the games this weekend, and I'm supposed to be, like, half busy. It's just his birthday. And now I'm a little, like, Dan, oh. Dan Rourke was saying to me this morning, the Saturday first game is in broadcast. Yeah. North, so get, that gets you out of that one. It's not? It's not. It's on Braves Radio or whatever team's radio. Oh, Blue Jays. Meredith, Meredith said playing. it was going to be on Yes. No, I, I don't sun, think so. I think it's Sunday. on Yes. Because that's the one, like, Soto's going to play. And, oh, Meredith. I, I have She probably said checked. first broadcast game. I haven't double checked. Just this morning, Dan Rourke was really sad. No, I'm and pretty sure. Told me I'm pretty sure the Saturday's first one not on TV. Expected to play Sunday versus Jays on yes. Yeah. Wrote on Soto Judge. Yes. And then she also captioned afternoon baseball sounds nice. Sunglasses guy emoji, palm tree emoji, baseball emoji. That's Spring your language. Training. That is your language. Spring training. Wait, what? So Sunday at one? Sunday at one. What do I have? Do I have anything? Got to get out of we it. Gotta, we got to see this team. We got to see. I love the first game of spring training, man. It's usually, a, it's like the masters for me. It, I got kids now, so it's probably not. But usually a nice nap. Mm. Like you watch the first. You do forget how you sleepy it is. Eventually. You watch the first the three innings. Leave. You jazzed up about yeah. it. They announce all the players like it's opening day or the World Series. Yeah. And you're like, whoa, him. Oh, him. Okay, a speed run. The next 50. I, I'm done. Yeah. And then. You're the first couple of innings, you're like, yeah, yeah. And then they make the first pitching change, and you're like, ah. Yeah. Ah, and you just. Like, bowed and thrown to Narvaez. And what? then you start slinking on the couch, and you get a little These sleepy. guys are our team? You fall asleep to the broadcast, and, like, you're in and out of a nap, and, the, and you wake up, you roll over, and you hear the broadcast. You're like, this is Spring delightful. training for the broadcast, too. It's delightful. It really is. Tampa. We'll be there. There's one ticket still available if you want to go get it. Bill said it's sold out. Well, there's a secret ticket. No. Oh, okay. If you live in the Tampa people. area. Check our website. You have to go to the Fresh ticket, Kitchen on 4th other. and Douglas Boulevard. Ask for the pulled pork, no rice, and they'll hand you a ticket to our event. Please don't do that. You have to film it as well. I beg of you to not do You that. have to film yourself doing it as well. Check out shop.johnboymedia.com. Maybe there's a ticket Otherwise, buy a shirt. Let me go Enjoy to my let me go to my notes. Um, Hal open adding Volpe new swing new staff for yeah. Glaber yeah. wants to be Yankee for life. Sure does. Me too. Me too. So did Cano. Gary. So did Sevy. It's nice. I like it. I like that Glaber wants to be a Yankee for life. Smile and hit. Anything else? Wells said, um, I don't feel like I've secured a spot on the team. We love it. Love it. Yep. We love it. You yeah. have. But we appreciate that. Yeah. We like that mentality. Cole grabbed you, said, You're my dog. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I had an inappropriate joke. <laughs> about involved Ben Rourke, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. I, that's rude. Make you got to stop watch. that. Uh, Booney said a bunch of stuff about Victor Gonzalez, and I'm guessing it was positive. I don't know why he'd sit down and say negative stuff. It's like kind of a bad shot to never say negative stuff. Anything else? There's not much else going on. It's kind of a show hole. We're waiting for Snell to sign. Oh, no, I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, 20%, which is higher than I thought I'd be. So I don't know if that's just dumb. You're at twenty percent. Twenty percent. That's bullshit. You're a liar. Where are you at? Hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, put your heart on the line for Jimmy. once in your life. Yeah. Put, put, yeah, get broken if you need to get broken. Can I tell you something? Oh, yeah. Twenty five percent. Just One, boosted me. One hundred. Stayed just the same. Boosted me. Boosted. I mean, why not go all in? Gotta believe in something. Why not? I'll I'll put my heart full in line. Beebs did this to me. 
Beebs basically came up to me and was like, that girl across the park, she's been talking about you all night. She loves you. She wants you to go home with you. And then I walk over to her and and she's like. I like beards. Blind. Yeah. I haven't seen you. And then Beebs is dead. So he did this to me. Bad wing man if we don't get snow. And I'm trying to do it to you. You want in? So you're trying to you're trying to pay that forward. <laughs> I'm trying to get everyone in. Believe in something. It's spring. Hey. And then Jake kind of got me. Here's in what else. They're night. getting snow. There's he's some, a Yankee. So we're just some, kind of all cycling each other right now. There's some all around baseball logic. Show me a better team. There's some serious don't waste Colin Judge's prime, which is supposed to be a big thing. Don't waste the one year. Some walkier so Yankees BS. And then I did get a whisper from someone that said something that was like, okay, that's interesting. But it's nothing near official or something near signing. But it's something nice. So. And what, what time did you say? You said like 8.30 Friday night? Here's what we have to do. What's their time? 11.30? BBD needs more dates. <laughs> we need to get high more. And if I we want this night. signing to happen, we ah, need to do our part. I didn't want to get high last night because I'm so get tired. crazy Tonight high. I'll get high. Dude, I had the best sleep of the, my year last night. According to my Fitbit, best sleep of the year. That's huge. 92 stars. 365 days or like no, February January 1st. 20. Okay. S- yeah, of this year. That's why I got my Fitbit. You only got the we'll track that. Like, yeah. as a Christmas gift. Dude. Right? Like, I mean, I'm eight hours and 23 minutes. Mm. That's delightful. Crispy. You and, were super behind. Yeah, well, yeah, I didn't sleep at all the last two yeah. days, so it's not that great. And then uh, and then it's a, they rank your sleep. Don't know how that really works, mm. but I got a 92. I've never gotten I've a 92 never, before. I'm familiar with the Fitbit scoring system, and like over 80s, rather rare. I got 90, like, which is excellent. Not just for me, you for must like have been out two hours awesome. of deep sleep. Wow, I've deep. never gotten two hours of deep sleep. You were like so, a frog on a Tuscaloosa summer day with a mint June up in my hand. Zo gets like two hours of deep sleep every night. He's like, yeah. "Look what I got!" I'm like, right. "Oh my god!" Yeah, he's he's, in, he's still in puberty. I have a toddler sleeping next to me. Woke up with my, grandma, grandma, because my mother in law's here. It's four a.m. It's like she's sleeping. Anyway, I didn't want them to get snail last night because I was so tired. Right, and I'm not that tired because I got the best sleep of the whole year. Okay, so I might indulge. We'll be back on the mic in a little bit. I'm a, we we, we had was one of those here. right. We it was went warehouse. Yeah, we, we did we warehouse here. show, and right. then we that was it. Luke Weaver five starter to. So what time? So what do we need to? What else what do we time need to did say? Stroman happen. We can't do this. No, I really. We can't do this. Clark's gonna be Clark's gonna be amazing this year. I'm on the. I'm driving the Clark Schmidt bus. I do. I think the team's done. Liar. No need, Dad. Hal basically came out Comfortable and said, "If we if don't catch Snell, you're, you're a good, good <laughs> deal. I'm all in." That's what he said. What's our What's our Brian Cashman gift that we're ending the show with? Hmm, so many good gifts in the whole world. It's tough because he he does pa- parent gifts. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. I think he like just 50. searches stuff. I'll open my text with Joe's and I'll search a gift. Like I like the, the Alonzo the... morning realization gift. That would be nice. It's a classic. Um, You're a big gift user. I love the one. There's a little kid that's like on his way back from the dentist. He just screams until he passes out. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good gift. How do I get to the gift place? Is it the... There's something that looks like a search with a cross phone, in it. Phone up this thing? Changed. Images? Images. Yeah. There we go. And I'll search. What should I search? And you can like only find gifts. I should, it's about to happen. Okay. Love that. Search. I really what enjoy searching BBD in those because I come up. Hello. Hello. Uh, I got the little girl. Okay. Which one? That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, the little girl, she's wearing oh. a pink jacket. She's like, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Is send it, that to is Joe's it? right now. I will send that to Joe's. That's Last two texts to Joe's. It's 2 p.m. It's 2 p.m. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you guys in a little bit. See you guys in like uh, five hours. Three hours. Five okay. Hours. Yeah. Should be pretty high. It's huge. Hell yeah. I'll go not home. Someone meet BBD for a drink right now. He will leave you halfway through. Go Yanks. Tom You'll Rams. be happy. Oh, yeah. We'll pick up the bill. <laughs> <laughs>
somebody pay for my dinner tonight, please. <laughs> please, 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 please. <laughs> also, the the uniforms you can see they're. Oh my goodness! <laughs> see Casey Schmidt. You can see a lot. Did you see this? 